the Indian rupee has fallen more than 10% in the last one year. It is currently trading at 82 to the dollar and about a week ago hit an all-time low crossing 83 to the dollar. So how do we fix this? According to Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi and the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party, the solution is to put pictures of Goddess Lakshmi and Lord Ganesha on notes that will be printed from here on. According to him, this will bring prosperity. Kejriwal has referred to the practice of Indonesia, a Muslim nation, putting a picture of Lord Ganesha on their currency as an example. If they can do it, why can't we? Now make no mistake. This isn't some flippant comment from a neta. It is a well-thought-out strategy of a politician striving to make a dent in the BJP stronghold of Gujarat. It is the comment of someone who believes that voters will swallow anything if it's painted as pro-Hindu. Let's first listen in to what Kejriwal said today and the reactions that have come in. Shri Ganesh Ji ki aur Shri Lakshmi Ji ki tasveer bharatiya currency ke upar lagai jaye. जैसा मैंने कहा कि हमें अपनी अर्थव्यवस्था को सुधारने के लिए भारत को आगे तरक्की देने के लिए बहुत सारे एफर्ट्स की जरूरत है लेकिन उसके साथ साथ देवी देवताओं के आशीर्वाद की भी जरूरत है अगर भारतीय करेंसी के ऊपर एक तरफ गांधी जी की तस्वीर है वो एज इट इज रहे दूसरी तरफ अगर लक्ष्मी जी की और गणेश जी की तस्वीर होगी तो इससे पूरे देश को उनका आशीर्वाद मिलेगा दे आर मोर बिजी वर्किंग विद द एक्साइज पॉलिसी दे वर बिजी विद द एक्साइज पॉलिसी अ स्कैम करप्शन इन द लिकर पॉलिसी ऑफ दिल्ली देर वन मिनिस्टर वॉज इन जेल ही कैन रिमेंबर वे मनी इन इज अकाउंट केम फ्रॉम एंड हियर टूडे नाउ बिकॉज इट्स दीपावली ही सडनली ब्रिंग्स इन लक्ष्मी गणेश जी and puts up a demand like this while at the same time his state president in gujarat says don't go to temples he tells ladies don't go to temples because these are places of exploitation calls prime minister modi niche so this is the politics of kejriwal ji dekhiye bharatiya janata party aur uski b team ki bhasha ek hi hai wo apne swayam ke karm mein vishwas nahi hai aaj arthavyavastha yahan pahunchi kaise hai lakshmi aur ganesh ji ka to bharpur aashirwad tha 2014 tak वो लक्ष्मी जी क्यों उठी है गणेश जी ने आशीर्वाद देना क्यों बंद किया वो बंद इसलिए किया जब लक्ष्मी के नोटों को आपने बंद कर दिया तो लक्ष्मी जी रूठ गई तो ये केजरीवाल जी और मोदी दोनों एक ही तरह की बात कर रहे हैं सो द क्वेश्चन इज वेन एन आई आई टी एन चीफ मिनिस्टर टॉक्स अबाउट पुटिंग पिक्चर्स ऑफ गॉड्स एंड गॉडेस ऑन द रूपी टू स्ट्रेंथ इन इट वेर आर वी हेड इट Please also note the reactions to his statement very, very carefully. While some parties are saying Kejriwal is pretending to be pro-Hindu and he's actually anti-Hindu because he banned crackers, some today are asking why just pictures of Hindu gods and goddesses? Is anyone asking how to improve the value of the rupee in real terms? How to ensure that the ordinary Indian can buy more with that note? Indians are feeling under high inflation today. 100 rupees buys you less than it did a year ago that's a fact that's what inflation means does anyone care about that are voters going to become so gullible that they will believe anything being done for their votes to speak more on this i'm joined now by sayed asad abbas political analyst and who on this debate is backing arvind kejriwal's statement today ashutosh political analyst and was formerly with the aam aadmi party ashutosh interested in knowing what you think of uh, arvind kejriwal's move madhavan narayan and senior journalist and economist with us on the show and praveen shankar kapoor of the delhi bjp also joining us welcome to all of you and thank you so much for speaking with us mr abbas since you are today backing mr kejriwal i want to ask you what is the logic sir what is happening what I'll is happening what the logic i mean is. you know Perfect. do 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 the aam aadmi party netas believe voters are so gullible aap kuch bhi bol do unko lagega acha hum pro hindu hai aur hame vote de dijiye is this all happening for gujarat Tamanna ji uh, first and foremost I was listening to your introduction carefully and uh, you know uh, being in the field of journalism you've understood how politics takes place first things first when in the year 2010 LK Adwani ji visited Indonesia what did he see at the World Hindu Conference this is a place which has thousands of temples 
4,600 temples in Bali alone. And when he asked the question, why on the rupiah of 20,000 currency in the Indonesia, why is there an inscription of Lord Ganesh? The reason which is provided to the Indonesian authorities was that it was suggested having this inscription of Lord Ganesh brings better wealth and he is a bringer of fortune. Now coming to the moot point, why does Arvind Kejriwal is speaking this language? Let me tell you and I will address straight to the point and you will appreciate To me as a political analyst, I believe this is nothing but a political masterstroke. Mr. Master Arvind stroke. Kejriwal has, I will tell you, allow me 30 seconds Tamanaji, and I will prove you this point. Arvind Kejriwal, with this politics, has landed the Bharatiya Janata Party and their vote bank between the devil and the deep sea, Rakshas and Gehra Samandar. How you may ask me, if today Modi ji and the BJP listen to Kejriwal ji and implement this, it's a big win that they listen to a Kejriwal. Nee, a uh, Abbas ji, kya, kya, kya Kejriwal ji ko lagta hai ke is desh ke voter murk hai? Bilkul bhi nahi. Huh? No, okay, Rupee at Terasi Ogya, Rupee is at 83. Rupee started this year at what level? It's fallen 10% since January. It was 7452. Yes, One Tamil minute. Please listen to me now, sir. It was 7452 in January. It's 8205 on October 26. 19th October it hit an all time low of 83 to the dollar. Will putting pictures of gods and goddesses fix this? Is this what Mr. Kejival? who is supposed to be doing politics with a difference, is this what he is peddling to voters because of Gujarat? Forget that. Tamil Collectively, Nasi. are political parties thinking Tamil that Nasi. voters have lost the ability to use their minds? Tamanaji, always on your show and many other various channels have always said that the voter is never a murk. This is not just Dilwalum ki Dili, but it's also Dimagwalum ki Dili. The same Dili which votes for Modi ji in the Lok Sabha elections, the same Dili votes for Vidhan Sabha elections to an Arvind K. J. Wal. Now Punjab and uh, we see Gujarat. Why so? I am making a point. Why is this a political masterstroke? Because he's made a dent in the BJP vote bank. We need to understand a party like BJP, which always go for a Hindu votes, Hindu nationalism and Hindutva. This is a direct attack on that particular vote bank. Praveen I'm not Shankar really Kapoor, the party, has your I'm vote bank been look. dented? Abbas is saying it's a political masterstroke. Your vote bank has dented. You are not able to say that it's a bad idea. Note this too. You are not able to say that this is a bad Absolutely. idea. You are saying that Kejriwal is just pretending to be pro-Hindu. He's actually anti-Hindu. But you're not able to come out and say that logically, economically, there is no theory or fact to prove that putting pictures of the most revered gods and goddesses on the note will improve the condition of the rupee. Can you say that? I am here. Haan, bolye, sir. To say, I am here to say what is most appropriate for the day? Actually, Kejriwal has hurt his own World Bank many a times during last few weeks. First, his minister, Rajendrapal Gautam, damaged him politically. Then, he himself damaged it himself, himself two days back by stopping the annual Diwali Poojan visit which his government was conducting. So now to come out of all that, he has thought a new gimmick of printing photographs of gods and goddesses on currency notes. BJP, as a political party, has no objection towards it. But is it a point which has to be considered at this moment of time. No, why not? If you have no objection, why problem not? Problem with him is... Sir, you are, Mr. Kejriwal Kapoor, is, Mr. Kapoor you're, sounding like, you're is, sounding like regretful that why you didn't think of it first. No, On, not at all. <laughs> not at all. No, no, I, I'm asking all. you. I'm not asking you. We sir, let me just listen it. to my question. Kapoor, sir, listen to my question. My question is... Ke, Kejriwal ji, is he doing it in earnestness? Is he doing it for damage control? Forget about why he's doing it. He is saying, let's do this as a suggestion so that this improves 
the performance of the rupee and improves our economy. Do you believe that printing fresh notes with pictures of Ganesh ji and Lakshmi ji will improve the halat of the rupee? Yes or no? I, I think this is not a question that needs to be even considered or Why? discussed. Why? He is making the uh, suggestion. Platform. Do you think the suggestion makes sense or not? It doesn't make any sense. It's not logical. And it is just a political gimmick. So why are you not able to condemn it? Why have you said we have no problem with the suggestion? We, we have no pro problem with the suggestion. Everybody in this country has a right to give suggestion. So has Kedriwal done. But before putting in this suggestion, he should have asked his Gujarat unit president to apologize to the uh, nation and Gujaratis and Hindus uh, of, uh, for what he had said, that stop going to temples. On one hand, his party president is asking people to not to go to temples. You know, and on the other hand, he wants Ash uh, the Ashutosh. portrait of gods and goddesses to be Ashutosh. printed on currency I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering what the assessment in the Ahmadmi party currently is of the IQ of voters in the state of Gujarat. What do they think that the people of Gujarat believe in or don't believe in or what will work with them? Or is this simply, you know, spin of the day to push back some of the... Uh, BJP, um, you know, messaging that Kejriwal is anti-Hindu. This entire political fight seems to center about who is more pro-Hindu. Uh, Tamala, this is a very dangerous game of mixing religion with politics. And uh, where it will lead and what will be the consequences, only you and I can think about it. Arvind Kejriwal should not be just that what he's saying today. He should be judged by what he said when he started the political party. Then he said, we are here not to do politics, but to change politics. Today, politics has not changed. He has changed. I still remember in 2013, when he was contesting assembly elections, then he put uh, Shazia Ilmi to contest from uh, R.K. Puram. And the uh, Ahmadi party very proudly said, we don't consider caste, religion, gender, anything. We only want to put good candidates. From where, if we had come to this part, that means there is something seriously rotten in the Ahmadi party. And this is a very well thought out strategy. See, the country in the last 30 years has already seen mixing religion with politics where it can take. Today, Asad Abbas can laugh and can happy and can call it a master stroke. When you start mixing religion with politics, then it is always divisive, it is always poisonous, and it is always lead to extremism. I think we all should consider, think, consider this, that whether it is good for the country or it's bad for the country. I think this is a disastrous thing which can come from Ahmadi party, and he's taking a route which, on, on that route, it will be very difficult to get out of this law. Yeah, because, you know, you are trying to compete. It's a competition. Where is that competition heading? Madhavan, I'm just shocked. When I saw this first, and then the reactions coming to it, I was shocked because I was like, I find it difficult to believe that these parties, who all run governments in various states, the BJP, of course, the central government and various states. The Aam Aadmi Party now in two states. The Congress also runs governments and has history of running governments. None of them are able to come and say that this makes no sense. This is not the way to revive the rupee and the economy. Let me first begin by disagreeing with what you said about the rupee. It's a minor disagreement. But I would like to tell your viewers that China has succeeded as an economy for the past three decades by keeping its renminbi artificially low. A weak currency is good for exports and ex exporters also need incentives. So the economy should be run on the strength of the uh, inherent forces and not on the basis of the nominal value of the rupee. 
you know, you are you are discouraging reporter uh, exporters and encouraging importers. But that's not relevant to the conversation today, yeah, Madam. But let me, I, I yeah, understand what no, you're no. saying, but it's not relevant to the conversation yeah, I, today. I, I want to quickly get out of the way, but let's focus on. I spoke at the Jaipur Literature Festival this uh, year, very coincidentally, uh, on the wealth of nations, and I was on a panel with Dr. Abhijit Banerjee, and I took a slightly lateral line and said that Ukraine is suffering a lot because. Uh, it is uh, forgotten what I call Adi Lakshmi, which is peace. Now, you know, because I spoke on eight Lakshmis at the Jaipur, the video must be up there on YouTube. The point is, Lakshmi has a lot of symbolism, but there can be no Lakshmi without Saraswati. You know, that is the thing. Vidya Lakshmi is also Lakshmi. So, but having said that, uh, peace, which is Adi Lakshmi, is upset when religion is mixed with politics. So, I agree a lot with my friend Ashutosh. I'm scandalized because. Arvind Kejriwal was supposed to change politics instead of instead of changing the agenda. He's now say, following the agenda of his worst enemy, which is the BJP. So what kind of IITN are you if you're going to be following the agenda set by the BJP? Smart thinking and innovation and positive disruption means changing the agenda. I thought he had already done that by bringing health and education. Education is Saraswati. He's already put it on the agenda. You don't have to put it on a currency note. Let me say that. Uh, India has already in the past put the Sun Temple on the uh, currency note. It has put ISRO, you know, where Vikram Sarabhai from Gujarat actually is an ISRO rocket scientist. Exactly. And it's a, so it's a tribute to if Sarabhai if you have ISRO's Mars orbiter on the report, uh, you know, on a currency note. And you also have, uh, you know, I've been just been, thanks to Kejriwal, been doing some homework on currency notes and Indian currency notes have been beautiful, appreciated for the design for using lavender, magenta, and correct. There's a lot of aesthetics, you know, Aishwarya Lakshmi. So all sorts of Lakshmis are there. Don't confuse. I have to tell you, as a card-carrying Hindu, because I go to temples, I'm not a some kind of a weird leftist. I have to tell you, uh, you know, I'm not an atheist. I'm <laughs> saying, as let's have a beautiful symbolism of Lakshmi by actually creating wealth instead of uh, simply putting it lip service. No, you know, today it's, know, not, it's not I, about athe atheist or uh, religious yeah. beliefs of anyone on this panel. It is about belief in the IQ level of the voter. Exactly. No, I am really think. wondering. No, no, I am really wondering and that too, voters in Gujarat who are astute in business. I, I will they, just... they understand how business works. Mr. I, Abbas, this is the no, equivalent no, of point. saying, this is the equivalent of saying that if we write a copy in Om and we don't study it, then we will be exam to pass the exam, first will come. Don't make so much of it. Yes, yes, absolutely. I myself, Samana Ji, when I was in my exam, I was in 786, it's each belief to their own. No, but you have to also study. You have to also study. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Completely concede to that point. I have great respect for Ashutosh Bhai. In fact, uh, 2018 elections, I also contested. So I do have a fair bit of understanding how the uh, mandate works. Also, you know, Mr. Madhav Narayan was very witty and bringing across his point. I concede to it. The fact of the matter is, what do we understand here, Samanna Ji? Let me be very true, fair and outspoken here. And I tell you that the Amadmi Party, with its own different... Uh, political uh, formats is trying to beat BJP at their own game. The party which uses Jai Shri Ram, the party which uses them, and today they are tight left Catch-22 situation for Modi's BJP. Why I tell you? They are caught between the devil and the deep sea. If they agree to what Kejriwal says, that shows the victory of Kejriwal. If they don't agree, then they will be shown as, oh, they are anti-Hindu, anti-Ganesha, anti-Lakshmi. So we need I to understand... I suppose they are fighting point. fire with fire. They're fighting fire Absolutely. with fire, and why not? No heko. Why yes. not? No heko. It's better no being. Hai. It's better than being called a weird leftist. Today, probably because <laughs> I'm raising the question about how will putting pictures of gods and goddesses on rupee, you know, help the economy and the rupee people will say you're a weird leftist. New term, no, Madhavan Tamana. has coined. So Tamana. anyone who doesn't want Very to be a weird Chodhana. leftist, you might as well fight fire with fire. Why? Why? You know, join him instead of trying to beat them. Yes, Ashutosh. Yes, Ashutosh. One, one minute. Abbas Ji, 
कंट्री टू पुट लक्ष्मी एंड गणेश so either bhagat singh and uh, ambedkar can be with aam aadmi party or lakshman ganesha can be with aam aadmi both can both can't can't be together and even bhagat singh has written a long piece on uh, why he's uh, he's nastik why he's an atheist so the, this is crash opportunism nothing else and i must repeat this today people might be happy that wo lohe se lohe ko kaat rahe hain but is desh ki हालत ही यह हुई है क्योंकि हम लोहे से लोहे को काटते हुए यहां तक पहुंच गए वे द माइनॉरिटी एंड द मुस्लिम हैव बीन टोटली मार्जिनलाइज्ड दे हैव बीन रेंडर्ड टू द सेकंड क्लास सिटीजन ऑफ द कंट्री ये इसीलिए हुआ है सो द फैक्ट ऑफ मैटर इज दिस पॉलिटिशियन दे हैव नो अदर वे टू ल्योर वोटर्स बिकॉज दे डू नॉट हैव इकोनॉमिक विजन दे डू नॉट हैव अ बिजनेस विजन दे डू नॉट हैव वे इन विच डायरेक्शन द कंट्री हैज टू बी टेकन just only talking about education and health education and health was all right but how to improve the economy how to con- the, i can understand what madhavan is saying that if your rupee is down then your uh, export will increase but where is the manufacturing sector the chinese did it because china chinese were supported by the massive manufacturing sector so they could export our our rupee can go down but what we are exporting RBX you know, exporting. unfortunately, Shutosh, nobody wants to talk about these serious issues. Exactly. Nobody exactly. wants to talk about it. लोगों को boring लगती है. No one wants to talk about it. No one wants to talk about real issues. But Mr. Kapoor, I want your response to what Sayed Asad Abbas is saying. लोहे को लोहे काटता है. They are playing. They are fighting fire with fire. वो आप ही का formula लगा रहे हैं. लोहे को लोहे से काटने से कई बजाय ने काटने की कोशिश करने से पहले अरविंद केजरीवाल में अगर हिम्मत हो तो राजेंद्र पाल गौतम को आम आदमी पार्टी से निकाल के दिखाएं अमानतुल्ला खान को ताहिर हुसैन को आम आदमी पार्टी से निकाल के दिखाएं और वो जो उनके गुजरात के अध्यक्ष हैं उन्हें आम आदमी पार्टी से निकाल के दिखाए उसके बाद ये ऊंची राजनीति ये छलावा राजनीति खूब करें नहीं लेकिन अगर वो निकाल के दिखा दे ठीक है वो निकाल देंगे सवाल वो नहीं है कपूर जी जिस दिन एक मिनट सवाल उन्हें निकाल देंगे इससे बड़ा है जी उनके सवाल ये है कि ये एक पार्टी है कपूर painted you in a corner strategically today you are unable to come and say that this is a bad idea the indian rupee stands for much more it stands for the sovereign economic strength of this country it is very unfortunate that we are discussing this topic sir you you have a line of spokespersons i am sorry mr kapoor you have a line of spokespersons who come and uh, yeah, criticize yeah. arvind kejriwal for saying this we then you should have, have ignored him we, we have been forced to do that because it this is politics we have been so then we must discuss this. politics we, we no we we don't need to the country has many other problems to discuss this is not the time to discuss this This is man. This is the man, Arvind Kejriwal. Counter, Mr. Kapoor. This this man, Arvind Kejriwal, is on record of saying that my daddy ko Ram Mandir banana pasand nahi. Mere ko khud ko Ram Mandir banana pasand nahi. Waha. But you know, uh, Mr. Kapoor. Mr. Kapoor, this is being a little. This is this is being a little, this is, this is being a little opportunistic. When you don't like the he's issue, not, you're saying this totally, is not worth discussing. A, When you think totally it's important, a, it's worth discussing. Arvind Kejriwal is it's a total opportunist. It's not worth discussing. It's not worth discussing whether 
we should have pictures of gods and goddesses on rupee, and but it's it worth discussing why we should not burst crackers on Diwali. Neglecting him. Ji. The country should start neglecting Arvind Kejriwal now, after this. No, I mean, I'm Allow sure me the BJP wants that. Please. I'm sure the Abhinna, BJP wants that. that. But that's not my question. My question to you was, as a, as, a, as a political strategy, is it not painting you into a corner? Madhavan wants to come not, in. Yes, very yeah, quickly, Madhavan. Not at all, not at all. I, want, I want to say to Mr. Kapoor something very blunt, because I'm not here to support the BJP, although I'm completely opposing Kejriwal on this. This country has the finest minds, whether you like it or not, they will lead. None of them is in politics, but they will guide politics. They will shape politics. You can call them the Khan market gang. You can call them the intellectual fools. But they are most, more powerful than you ever will imagine. And today is my day to say that it's not the purpose of politics to make, uh, follow the dumbness of people. It's the purpose of great politics to make people smart and raise their level of standards. Leadership in democracy is not about following people. It's about leading people and enhancing their level of thought. This is the land of Saraswati. And Saraswati is not in a picture. Saraswati is in the minds of those who think and act. And uh, Lakshmi will follow automatically. And it's very important for whether it's Kejriwal or whether it is Narendra Modi to understand that the people who they thought think to be useless in politics are much more powerful because, as I often say, there is a hidden power of knowledge. This is the strength of India. You know, we and also have to put across the point that this is merely pandering. This is merely pandering because this country is populated with people of many, many faiths. So what really are you trying to say? What is the message you're trying to give? Why is today Mr. Abbas saying lohe ko lohe, loha kaatta hai? The strategy seems to be we will beat the BJP or we will attempt to beat the BJP at its claim that they represent Hindus. Ashutosh, isn't that the actual point? And Kejriwal can turn around and say that my strategy has been working. I've gone from just Delhi to Delhi and Punjab. Uh, Tamanna, I would like to first respond to what Mr. Praveen Kapoor has said. But this is the country where on Diwali we crack patakas. And we are not worried about, about our kids. We are not worried about our, uh, our uh, senior citizens. And uh, uh, people are dying because of the pollution. But people will, will crack, uh, will, will, will do all kinds of pataka things. Because what? Because they are competing with the Muslims and the Christians. So if we had reached to that situation, obviously the politics is a reflection of that. What Arvind Kejriwal is doing, I think he is trying to be a bigger Hindu than Narendra Modi. He has forgotten that Narendra Modi is the, is the original Hindu leader. You can at, at best be a, a, a junior uh, Hindu leader or a copy of Hindu leader, a bad copy of Hindu leader. If the Gujarat has to choose between the two Hindu leaders, will you choose Arvind Kejriwal or will you choose Narendra Modi, who has a proven track record of being a Hindu leader? So if he is trying to, to loha loko katna chata hai, so I think Ahmadi party is cutting their own, own limbs and vitals. And this will not get them any dividend, mark my word. You this know, will work in Delhi for the simple reason, because almost their votes, vote bank is almost similar. In parliament election, it votes to the Narendra Modi. And in, in assembly election, it, it, it gives to the, to the Arvind Kejriwal. But in Gujarat, parliament and assembly election are the same. They vote only to Narendra Modi, not even to the BJP. I think better Arvind Kejriwal should realize this. Well, Arvind Kejriwal's real contest, perhaps, in Gujarat is with the Congress, to finish off the Congress space and become primary opposition. But then that's, you know, for another show, another day. Since we want to attempt to speak some facts and logic on this show, since Mr. Kejriwal has given the example of the Indonesian rupiah and said, okay, see that they put the picture of Ganesha. Do we know how many Indonesian rupiah you need to buy one dollar today? What is the value? It's 15,574 Indian rupiah yeah, is required to buy one dollar. It's dropped also 7% from January. <laughs> so, so in case, in case anyone is looking for any factual proof of this theory, please take a look at the exchange rate of the Indonesian rupiah yeah, today. Because it might not be as exciting as these political claims, but the cold hard facts do not lie. I'll have to end it here. But thank you so much to all of you for joining us on this debate. We'll take a very short break, but we're back with a lot more on the other side.